Well, we did our Oscar picks last year and we got a ton of requests to do them again this year. So I'm happy to report that JD is back to give you the picks with me so you can win your Oscar pool. I couldn't stay away. I couldn't stay away. I had to come back and, and rough you up. Best animated film is our first category. The nominees are Bolt, hmm. Hmm. Kung Fu Panda, and Wally. Uh, I wonder what's going to win. Could it be the Pixar movie called Wally? I mean, Pixar wins pretty much every year in this category. They didn't win when Cars uh, lost to Happy Feet a couple years ago, which was kind of weird. Uh, but this is always Pixar's to lose, and Wally was going to, should have gotten the Best Picture nomination. It's the second or third best reviewed film of the year. Wally's going to win it. It's that simple. Sure. I think, you know, it's interesting because Wally is the one Pixar picture that's sort of like divisive in the sense that people yeah. have been a little bit pissed off about it. But I think long term, it's going to win this award and people are going to look back on this picture and, and really think it was something special. So It's divisive because it doesn't pander to kids, I think. So whatever. Uh, Wally's going to win. Nobody else has a chance. But I would like to mention that Kung Fu Panda swept the Annie Awards, which are the animation awards for and by animators. And I guess people are just sick of Wally winning every other award. Or all year. the animators who don't work for Pixar are trying to find a way to metaphorically pee in their coffee pot while they're not looking. There you go. Hey, anyway. Speaking of metaphorical pee, that brings us to the mess, best documentary feature category. Uh, this year we have Trouble the Water, which is the New Orleans documentary, Man on Wire, about the tightroper, uh, tightrope walker between the tin, Twin you, Towers, uh, The Garden, Encounters at the End of the World, the Werner Herzog film, and The Betrayal, Nara Kuhn. Uh, it's, it's Man on Wire. Man mm. on Wire is going to win this. I mean, that's all there is to it. It's, it's another one. Like Wally, it's swept everything. It's, it's won all the documentary awards this year. What I find really interesting is that Herzog was not nominated for Grizzly Man, which was far and away the most acclaimed documentary of uh, 2006. But this year, he's nominated for Encounters uh, at the End of the World. So it's, it's a fine film, but it's no Grizzly Man. Yeah, I think it has something to do with the fact that Grizzly Man was kind of a crap movie about oh, a really annoying God. guy who should have been eaten by bears. But anyway, moving on, Man on Wire will definitely win that category, by the way, and it a really beat, cool film. It beat the Slumdog Millionaire Kids just at the BAFTAs the other night. Man on Wire beat it for Best British Film, but Slumdog Millionaire won Best Picture, so. Yeah, anyway. which is interesting. Yeah. Moving on, Best Foreign Language Film. We have the Biedermannhof Complex from Germany. Gesundheit. Thank you. The Class from France. Departures, Japan. Uh, Revanche from Austria. Tria, not Australia, and Walt Smith Bashir from Israel. Okay, the first thing I have to say about this category is it really sucks that Sweden didn't nominate Let the Right One In. Let the Right One In is the best foreign film of the year, and it has all the accolades to go with it. I, I'm not 100% sure if they didn't nominate it because they wanted to nominate this other film, which they did, or if it just wasn't eligible. Uh, if that's the case, we'll see it next year if Sweden's not idiots. The politics it. and the rules on the best foreign language movie oh, always, it's terrible. just, it's terrible. Yeah. They've got to redo something about it because it, it's a mess and it needs to be changed so clearly, but. Well, here's the thing. This is going to be Waltz with Bashir because everybody loves that movie. The National Film Critics Society actually called it the best movie of the year, period. But this is also the one category that's really strange. And I'll tell you why. It's because if you're a foreign language film uh, person who's voting on this, you have to fill out something that says, I saw all five films in this category. Two years ago, Pan's Labyrinth got upset by the lives of others. Uh, four or five years before that, Amelie was upset by No Man's Land. If there's an upset here, it's going to be the class, the French film, but I still think it's going to go to Waltz with Bashir. So that's my pick. Yeah. Well, all the energy is going that direction, so I would say that's, that's the right call. All right. We've got more picks, so stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you in about uh, one day.